Good morning. So yesterday um, I left off um, with the uh, import snippets in the GUI um, uh, crashing on my machine, but not on Ubuntu in a VM. Um, so I'd got to the point where I realized that the code's fine, it's just that my machine wasn't working as is, as it should. Um, and so after a little bit of investigation and uh, a look at the good old Nixos uh, discussion button, uh, I found that um, I needed to add something to the build environment to allow the XTG data dials to be uh, to be set with um, the GNOME G settings. Um, so, it's, so I've put this in here um, and it's using both uh, the G settings, desktop schemas and the GTK um, schemas as well. Um, and from up, since doing that, I should be able to get the file dialog come up so that I can select a uh, file to import. So if I do this, up comes the, the file dialog. So it's all sorted. And if I pick a file, we've got this temporary um, dialog um, and everything's imported. So um, that's fixed. Um, I should probably just commit that off actually. Um, oh, and I did update the shell, so that's just using the um, the built-in package for Wales because that's that's all up to date and everything at the moment with beta thirty-seven. So let's just oh, I updated um, go mod as well. I did all kinds of things to make sure everything was up to date. Fix uh, dev on Nexus. Still in um in a branch at the moment, but I'll finish off the uh, the import snippets uh, before merging it into into main into chunk. So we're done with that file now. Um, now I just need to sort of clean up uh, this dialog handling and stuff, um, make it a little bit more usable. So we've got a few things um, going on. So the import snippets, which is called from the front end into the back end. First thing it does is um, set up these two filters, um, which I think are OK at the moment. Um, basically, we're just looking for JSON files. I could potentially open that up to be just pick anything you like, but it is JSON that we're exporting or will export. Um, and then we just open up the dialog. Um, sorry, creating an options record with the title and the filters, and that's all. I think that's okay at the moment. I will need to, at some point, um, make this translatable. But that's a whole new, whole different thing I've got to do for the the go side of stuff. Um, then we open the dialog um, and potentially get a file name back. As long as the file name has a length which is at least six characters, then it should be good because we're expecting a JSON file. So that's four characters and a dot and then I'll see A, B, C, whatever. So at least some six character uh, long file name. Otherwise they've cancelled. So we could just bail out, we're done. 
Um, when we've got that file name, we read it um, using um, the same file, same function that we used on the CLI. Um, so we've got a nice place there to make sure that everything looks good. Um, and assuming there's no errors, um, we actually look at it um, and we say, OK, have we got any snippets? Um, if we haven't, then we say nothing to import. So if we've got nothing in no snippets, we say nothing to import um, and just ban out again. And then after that, um, we're going to start actually doing um, the sync uh, to the back end of the snippets. Now, at the moment, I have set it so that the update flag um, is passed in. I should put a comment on this. Okay. Yeah, so we uh, pass flag in whether we want to do an update or not. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that. Don't really have hmm, that's a good point actually. How did I used to do it? Ah, okay. Thought I did. <laughs> Yep. Okay, so this is probably what we need to do is just say, okay, we've got some snippets here. How do you want to do things? Would you like to update existing, which is the update flag, or just skip the duplicates, which is the kind of the default. So if I skip duplicates, I think. We we'll only get a couple. We're going to get some wibble ones coming. Ah, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, I did the export from this newer version. That's good. Well, that's good to see that that's working. <laughs> that protection. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad about that. That's a good test. That. Um. Right. Okay, so that does change things up a little bit. So basically, we don't need to pass in an update. We're going to ask the user about that. And we're going to have to set it beforehand. So we're going to need another type of dialogue. Right then. And then. This is interesting. I'm not sure whether we've got the facility for that yet in Wales. Uh, let's have a look. To have like different buttons and things. Let's have a look. Uh, open my to save file message dialogue. Message 
message dialog options. Oh no, can't do buttons. That's a bit of a problem. Hmm. I'll have to look into that because that is maybe something I can help with. Might have to um, contribute that back because there's. Well, you can definitely do it because I've done it before, but that's using Vala. And GTK. Hmm. Okay, so I'm kind of stuck there. OK, there's a quick workaround for that moment, and then I'll come back and I'll see if I can fix that up in, in Wales itself at some point. <clears throat> so I'm going to reintroduce that update flag. Um, and then in the mode that I'm using this at the moment, which is <clears throat> we've got no snippets. We can't, there's nothing to update, so we're fine. It's going to come in and it's going to be yeah, don't update because there is nothing to update. Um, but when I come to put the functionality onto another window to, or menu option or whatever, well, probably a window, I could have a, a like a checkbox underneath or something just to, in the interim uh, to say, you know, or just have two different options, uh, import um, and update and import only import new and in import and update something like that um yeah yeah that'd be a way around it for the moment so we'll keep that update flag coming in and we'll just be doing whatever we can here with our dialogue. So that's fine. So at the moment it's working. Uh, we get a sync snippets. And <clears throat> sorry about that. Bit of a frog in my throat. Um, okay. Message dialogue. This is what we want to do now. So assuming everything's okay. We want to display um, a message, basically saying, yay, we've done the thing. So sucks. Access. Um, let's do this. So let's make it Yeah. So there's created. Oh, 
updated skipped oops we're not going to be doing any deletions in this But let's put it in for the moment because I might might do something there. So what do I do here? Do I do this? Let's find out. Clean out the database because it's now full of snippets. Oops. Run it again. Okay. Hmm. It's not pretty, is it? But let's um let's give it a uh a little bit extra. Oops. It's going to be one of those days where I say oops a lot, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think I just need a little bit of space there. I did. I think that's enough for the moment. Um, if I just, I might just quickly test and uh, importing, or rather, not importing.
So, well, I haven't got any examples yet, have I? Uh, let's. Yeah, what we'll do. So I didn't. I did this on uh, Ubuntu last time. Just did there, I think. I just picked the wrong thing, better than that. Just do that. Okay, I think that's enough for a test. So. Empty. Nothing to import. And... Nope, nothing to import. Uh, oh, I should just um, have a non JSON file as well. Yeah, file does not contain valid JSON formatted data. It's fine. Okay. Let's um, stick this across on number five. Make it a little smaller. And actually do the import. Okay. Let's commit this then. Okay, but I think I want to switch back to trunk now. Just make sure, Ooh, thank you very much. I'm going to do that again in a minute. So let's refresh make sure everything's up to date it should be fine don't think i've done anything anywhere else okay now we'll just merge didn't bounce. But it's there. Cool. 
Oh. Ah, I didn't like that. I caught it off guard by doing the merge underneath Wells. Oh, of course. Yeah, shedding and stuff. Not sure that's proper. Yeah, I updated the shell. Make sure it's up and running again now. And let's just kill off. Good. All right. So we're back on track. Oh, come on. Ah. Can push that. And we can delete that punch. Okay. All right, so um, that's all very well and good, but you can't import anything once you've got snippets in. So the next task is to add some way to get to a point where we can import some snippets. Um, and I think we're going to do that by adding a settings page. Um, and one of the things you can do is import and export. So um, let's do that. Uh, we can get rid of that. We can get rid of... that let's get rid of everything actually and we'll just start off with hmm so the welcome screen doesn't have a way do just get to the settings but then again you don't have any snippets anyway to apply settings to so is that a big deal hmm. come back to that uh, what we're going to do is in the list snippet screen where we have this icon here, we'll add, we're going to add another one. Second one, I think. So I need to 
make an icon. And I want something like settings pref what about cogs cog or cogs we'll see see what it looks like now I'll just leave that there for the moment Hmm. What about this instead? We'll see what this looks like. Hmm. Maybe the single, I think. You can always change it later, anyway. Okay, now we need to do something with it. Which is basically the same as add. But... something else <laughs> settings page which we haven't written yet So let's write it. Um, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. There. I don't need to copy all that. Let's just create it from scratch, I think. Although I'm just going to nick these first two lines. Ooh. Eesh. I lost focus there, I went to the wrong place. There we go. sure that's going to come into play or not but we'll see i think it might if i'm doing what i think i'm doing uh so i need to import this uh cancel 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 hmm Mm. 
Not sure. Yeah, I could do that. Let's do that. We'll just pop. So function handle cancel. If I use the right hook there, then. There we go. Right. Uh, it needs to reload because of... Um, oh, they didn't like it. There you go. Is there a problem? What? That's a lot. What's going on? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I know where that is. I haven't set up the root. I'm hitting a root that doesn't exist yet. Uh, I need to add that here. Okay, that should help. There we go. Doesn't do a lot. And the escape doesn't work. So let's work that out. Why does the escape not work? I wonder if it's because there's no focus on any of the controls, because there aren't any. Very strange. All right, we'll see what happens once we put some stuff in. Um, let's steal. Th 
this. So there's a couple of things we need to steal from here. So on the welcome screen at the moment, we do understand that we do or don't have a connection. Um, and we are doing centered as well. Might need to do that. So, <laughs> don't need that. We kind of do need to wrap things in the connection. OK, so I'm going to take that and then I'm just going to take out some bits. And rejig. So first thing first, we don't need add. We need to import that. And we're going to keep that as well. We want that. And we need that function. So if we have a connection, we can do this stuff here. In fact, all of it's going to be dependent on there being a connection. So let's just make sure we have specific message here. Because everything is handled by the daemon. All the settings, savings, and everything is all really based on the daemon. And the things GUI related as such, or CLI related. Just how snippets are handled. So if connection were good. Else. Uh, we're just going to display yeah that's what we need to do We'll test test that out a bit. Oh, mind if I meet him that I don't actually have today, and I need to re turn off those reminders. Okay, so we've got that. Let's make it centered. That's better. Um, and let's ch 
change the title there. So let's make that new only. Important news snippets. How about import snippets and then afterwards oops discarding duplicates and then we'll have another one which is going to be Update, import snippets, update existing. Not sure that's super clear, but we can improve that later. Okay, and then let's change that handle. Hmm. Import snippets update. Date. Yes. This will be interesting. Now I need to do that. update the title and we're just going to pass it true there oh what happened there what something funny went on there what happened? Hmm.
Yeah, that shouldn't happen. Why is that calling that? Hmm. Very strange. I've never seen that happen with Svelte before. It's cool in the Yeah. That is weird. Hmm. Because it's on a component, I can't use that modifier. But it was it wasn't working when I um All right, and now they're not working. Okay, what have I done? Oh. Okay, yeah, these are supposed to be our air functions. So normally, if you just pass in a reference to the function, it will call it, um, will wrap basically do a, a, a function call as it needs to, and it will pass in an event actually, it will pass in. Uh, the click event handler as a param you can either use it or not it's up to you um, but because I'm passing in a different um, parameter into the function I need to be handling the whole like functional the function state there so I have to make it a function call um, rather than and it has to be async um, effectively kind of not doesn't it do it right? So if I save that now, and if I do a reload here, okay, we're good. Right, that was weird. So if I do import snippets discard in duplicates, yep, it skipped the 91. If I do import snippets update existing, uh, oh yeah, because they're all the same, I skipped it. <laughs> let's um let's update a couple of the funk uh snippets then um I got any wibbles in here yeah
Whoa, 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 whoa. That's strong, you see. That should be until your heart's contempt. And then the wibble wobble here. Well, we need to change that. That should be night. Do that. Okay, so I've updated the import file so that these two are updated. Um, I'm just going to redo. So if we do the duplicates, it should just not do them. That's fine. It skips everything because they all exist already by abbreviation. And then update existing, hopefully, we'll pick up those two. Yeah, updated two. Okay. Uh, I need a back bun. Uh, <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, now if I look at yeah, it's picked up the changes there. So that's fine. It's interesting that the escape works there, but not the other one. Okay, right. Well, we need, okay, we need some sort of navigation thing here. Um, hmm. I mean, ideally, we would have like a menu bar, really. I mean, that might be the solution. Because I don't particularly like having these here. I want to keep it super lightweight. I have to think about that. I'm not sure what the best mode is there. It might be time to move these out of this row. I mean, these options are going to be probably further down. With settings above, I think that's how I want to do it. I want just a simple settings page that shows you everything and you're done because there's not a lot of settings. supposed to be super simple. For example, I might I might just have C 
something like this. So we have an import, export title. Might need to do an amp on that. What happens if I take that out? Hmm, that's better. What happens if I take that and that out? It's not terrible. It's a little bit more compact. It makes no real difference when you're like that big. But when you're at the smallest, I might need a bit of, it might be a little bit cramped because there's going to be some other ones up here. And then we've got another one underneath in a minute. Though, if I put that back, I would have a little bit of separation. And I can always adjust the yeah, margins and stuff. Yeah, I'll leave that for the moment. And then I'll be able to have another paragraph with uh, export on its own. Yeah, but I do need to solve the navigation issue. It might just be a back button. What happens What a step backward is. Try that.
No. Obviously, positions are wrong anyway, but. Okay, let me have a look at some uh, icons quickly before I wrap up. Okay, that's not right. Thank you. Maybe just that. What's the difference? Square left, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. So, square chevron left, maybe. Okay, it's not in there. Maybe that one then. So that is back in there, isn't it? okay uh, I'd have to do something about placement but I am thinking I 
no, don't know. This isn't actually a mini bar, I'm just kind of exploring stuff. Not sure what we're going to do. Um, so. So display flex. Um, and that should, I think, break it out of the center. This is unconvinced. Um, line items. Hold on. Yeah, no, it should be all right. start. Mm, what's going on there? Do I need to do flex direction row to break it out of the center? No. What's going on? Menu bar. Oh. I know. It's got no width. So everything's just hunched up and put into the center. Okay. Now I think I could probably get a shot of them. Yeah. A lot of space. Hmm. Kind of does the job though. Uh, right, does it actually do the job? We haven't tested that yet. Handle cancel, so. Yep. Hmm. You can imagine if these two were just up here and small. Well, actually, I don't have that on the other side. And this up here, and then I'd have an export button as well. That might be what I do. But anyway, we've got import and export. Sorry, we've got import working now. And we can do it from here and here. Uh, one thing I need to double check. Um, on the list. Now I don't want that settings showing on the mode. Uh, 
and stacks of night and I think I might take it out from search and paste mode as well including the ad I mean So yeah, so let's um, see what happens. So let's make. If I do it in search and paste mode. Yeah, I've still got those two, and I don't think I want that. If I take out all the... snippets, we've got none left. And run that again. Hmm. Okay, let's just do a quick investigation. So if not select mode, we show the buttons. Although I feel like I might be doing a menu bar there instead at some point. Wait a minute. Got to a bar there. <laughs> Why did I call it menu bar? It is a toolbar. Hmm. And what if settings to the end. Okay. Do need to set that so that it um, picks up on the JavaScript changes. So, no snippets. This is still in select mode. Okay, so we've got neither of those buttons. Feel like it should be in this mode and with a message underneath.
Yeah. So in the main screen, I might not need to worry yeah what if we take out this and we basically just show list snippets if we have a connection. Ah, no. If connection, okay. Yeah, no, 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 okay. Let's do it in this way. So if we have a connection, and we have snippets and the length is greater than zero, or we're in select mode, Let me show the list snippets. Let's try that. So we've got, right, well, the daemon is down at the moment. So we should get, in this case, just the welcome screen. Oh, it says it didn't recompile. Worked anyway, but that's for another reason. Right, so that's, yeah, you can't do anything. Go fix the daemon. So if I bring up the daemon, make it so I can see. Great, okay. I could just enter add there, I guess, if I wanted to. But this is search and paste mode. So let's kill that off again and do the test. But not in search and paste mode. Okay. Same thing at first. Bring up the daemon. Welcome screen. Okay, that's good. Do it again. We have the daemon. Welcome screen. Do it again. Search and paste straight into list. That's okay. Um, do an import. Okay, and then we've got them left and right. OK. 
okay and they're not in the tab I could change that but we will see that's okay search and paste mode yeah they're not there that's good and you just pick what you want to pick but if you pick uh, something that's not in there that's fine I think that's better I think that's okay I do want search and paste to be very restricted and I could make it so that go okay, like oh add it and then it picks from here Yep, still works. Okay, I like that. Let's do that. Um, so, I think we're done for today. Uh, I can add I can add to this another day, I think. I'm going to have decided whether I'm going to do that or not. Um, and I think we're okay with the, the settings page. It's not very keyboard friendly at the moment. Can't get out. Can't move around it. But to look into that some other time, we could do that, I'm sure. Oh, and then he finds a bug. What was that? Don't know what that was. It's not giving me a good error message there. Oh, that's an oldie. Hmm. I've seen that in a while for miles. And that was import update, but there's nothing to change. So let's just double check that. I 
If I do discard duplicates, that's fine. In existing. Oh. Okay, so what did I do? Is it a double click? No. Single click. Now I can't get it to crash. Maybe it was a Wells dev issue. Hmm. Oh well. Can't get it to crash anymore. At the moment, anyway. Okay. Dev to see if there's a um, little bit of a file manager problem there. Maybe not. I see that's okay. If I double click, it's fine. Don't know what that was. Maybe things were out of sync or something. Okay. Let's commit that. Okay, well, that's me done for today. Better get on my my job. So um thanks for watching. Uh, until next time and take care.